on Alcatraz Island. The National Park Service wishes you a safe and enjoyable visit. Once again, thank you for sailing with Alcatraz Cruises. I'm to San Francisco. Okay, I heard a bunch of stuff, but I heard currents. Currents, those are very, very important. Obviously, the uh, prisoners here wouldn't be given a tide book on their way in, you know, or on their way out, for that matter. So you do need to know when those tides are flowing, going, because that water gets moving very, very quickly. You have a large body of water here in the bay trying to exit through a very small opening, the Golden Gate. So that's very important, those currents. You need to know about those. So that water gets moving very swiftly. What's the second thing you need to think about? Hypothermia, water temperature, it is freezing. That water is very, very cold. It could be 100 degrees out here on the island. We could be working up a sweat. You still would not want to get into that water for too long. Uh, it only goes from about 40 degrees to about 60 degrees all year round. And the reason it stays so cold, that's Fahrenheit in case you didn't notice. Uh, the reason that it stays so cold all year round is because of that Alaskan current, which brings that cold water from up north in Alaska down here into the bay. So that's those are the two reasons why you need to worry about. Now, do you think that this the uh, that it is possible to make the swim? Yes, of course it is. In fact, about 2000 people do it every year. They all jump into the water out there at the north end of the, or excuse me, the south end of the pier. Swim over to San Francisco is the first stage of the escape from Al I'm an intern here with the National Park Service, and it's my job to give you what we lovingly call the dog talk. It's a little bit about everything there is out here on Alcatraz, what there is to do, see, how to have fun, stay safe, and all that good stuff. So if you uh, want to stay down here on the dock, this is mandatory. I promise I'm going to keep it short, though, and when I'm finished, you have free reign over the island. You get to go wherever you like as long as it's not a closed area. So first off, eating, drinking, and smoking are allowed here on Alcatraz, but only down here on the dock where you're standing right now. Now, if you would like to take bottled water up the hill, that is allowed. So you can walk up the hill with the bottled water. If you like to smoke, there are two places where you can do that. The first one is down there towards the end of the pier. And the second is back along that black railing you see back there. Those are the only two places on Alcatraz where you can smoke. There are benches and ashtrays that we made available for you guys. Now, this is very, very important, this next bit. Look back and to the right at that building over there. Everybody see it? Guess what that is? That is the largest restroom on Alcatraz. That is the nicest restroom on Alcatraz. We have about 650 toilets out here on the island. Guess which ones actually work? I'll give you a hint. It's that one right over there, guys. So you're probably going to want to use that before heading up to the top of the island today. There, are, uh, there is a second restroom that's located near the prison. It's much smaller, though, and it's out towards the lighthouse. But I highly suggest, guys, use that before walking up the hill. Uh, no, you know, since in trying to.
Testament. 